Marie-Claire Aoun, thank you for coming with us. You're the director of, for energy at, at IFRI. We've had very low oil prices for quite some time now. Will they stay low? And if they do, what are the implications for the developing countries and for the oil producers in particular? It's very difficult to respond precisely to the question about the future evolution of the oil prices. Yesterday in the workshop on energy, it was discussed and clearly the experts were saying it could be uh, it, could, it could be at $30 per barrel or it could be at $100 per barrel. However, all the scenarios shows that on the medium term we are still on a slight, uh, on the same level of, of low oil prices. And the consequences on the, um, on the exporting countries are really significant. Um, around the 360 million of dollars of losses of oil of revenue exports in the Middle Eastern countries uh, per year. So this is huge. Um, huge losses and these countries have also to deal with other economic challenges notably unemployment so it's, it's, it's a very difficult situation. The challenge is also big for international oil companies who are struggling to decrease their costs, uh, they are de reducing their capital expenditures to the adapt it's to this. There's been a withdrawal from the Arctic. Uh, which absolutely, absolutely because they are these are very high cost production uh, in, in the region. Um, and in other region also, this is uh, this is uh, really significant. So a negative impact on international compa oil companies, negative impact on the U.S. Mm. shale oil operators who are also reducing their capital expenditures. And we estimate that by July 2016, the decrease of the U.S. Uh, light tight oil production would be around one million barrel per day. So I mean, there are those who say that the U.S. is at the moment the, the swing producer, but that presumably won't last if. If, if shale oil becomes uh, financially not very uh, feasible? Um, the, 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 um, there is a decrease in the oil production in, uh, in the US, but it started very late. The, U the light tight oil were much more resilient were, were, were than, than when we initially expected. So it is true that now the US are the swing producer. Um, the, the decrease in the production is, is, is continuing, but however, if the oil price rises again, um, the, the increase in the U.S. production w w would be a little bit more important. So today, clearly, the, 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 the clear emphasis is that this, the U.S. are the swing producer well, and not OPEC an anymore. An obvious question. I mean, obviously, um, low oil prices are bad for the producers. But presumably, for the global economy, the cheaper the energy price the better it is for the overall economy. Absolutely. We discussed all this yesterday, and there was an intervention from a US participant who said, cheer up, guys. This is good news for the economy, cheap oil energy, uh, cheap energy. So this is good news. <laughs> However, um, uh, this, this should be also looked at in the US it, it is, it, there is a positive impact because the, the, the energy prices are really declining. But in the other OECD countries, notably in Europe, there are the taxes which really smooth the impact on the and, and smooth the benefit on the, on the end consumers. So end consumers does, do not really feel the, the, the decline of the oil prices. And all over, the IMF um, uh, representative yesterday was saying that initially we expected that the globally the, the, there will be a, an important positive impact of the decline of the oil prices, but with the other phenomenon, the, 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 the positive impact is not as, as important as we initially expected. Is the WPC a, a, a good forum for this sort of discussion, or is everybody in a sense on one side? No, I think it's an excellent forum for this kind of discussion because it, it gathers everyone at the tables. The producers we had yesterday, the international companies, the US uh, operators, um, the consumers, so it clearly uh, gathers everyone. And, and it was also shown yesterday, um, we clearly don't have the same perceptions of what's happening today on the oil prices, but also on the climate change discussions. And it is an excellent forum for to gather everyone and to share our views, because when you are discussing this in the US, you don't have the same perception as in Asia and, and, and as in Europe or in the Middle East. Michael, thank you very much indeed.